Welcome to Our World with Black Enterprise. I'm Mark Lamont Hill. She's been heating up TV screens around the country with her talents in the kitchen. Now she sits down to share her recipe for success. Ms. Robbie Montgomery is our all-access guest. Take a look. Can I call you Ms. Robbie, everybody? You can call me Ms. Robbie. I like that, I like that. First of all, congratulations. You are on the third season of your show now. I can hardly believe it. I mean, I was praying that it made it through number one, <laughs> and now we're on three. The reason why I love it and the reason why my family loves it is because they get to see the real you. Like, when we watch you, we know it's a real person. That's, that's not right. an act. That's not a front. That's you all day. Isn't it? I don't have time to act. I just go for the throat. <laughs> just go right at it and, and keep going. And the, the show, for those that don't know, is based on your experiences running your business. Yes. T talk, talk about it, that a little It's bit. about my family life. I mean, a mom, a son. We don't get along at all. <laughs> and I've got my sisters, my nephew, who's lazy. Uh, we keep giving him different jobs and different opportunities. He's not taking advantage of them. I got a grandson that's doing bad in school. So it's just about an everyday family trying to make it. Plus, we get up and go to work every day in the business. Absolutely. And people connect to that because it's a real family. That's right. For real. It's really real. And, and the business is real as well. I mean, you are a very successful entrepreneur. Yes, I am. Thank Yes, three businesses, right? Three. Well, you know, uh, St. Louis is my home. I was a professional singer for many years. When I developed a health problem, I moved back home. And home kind of embraced me. You know, Mom always say, you can come home when you can't go no place else. That's for sure. So that's what I did. I went home, uh, thought of the second thing I could do. Singing is my first love. Cooking is my second. And that's what I did. Opened a restaurant 15 years ago, my first one. And St. Louis just embraced me, supported me, and we're kind of helping each other. Everybody says I put St. Louis on the map, St. Louis put me on the map. Now, the first restaurant opens up. Most businesses, particularly restaurants, fail mm -hmm. uh, within five years. Okay. You not only didn't fail, you grew and expanded to three restaurants. What was the secret to your success on the business side? Well, you know, people didn't believe in me at first. When I said I was going to open Soul Food, all I got was negative input nothing positive. So that was kind of my inspiration. I was focused on this. I knew if I had something, a product that was good, it would work. I mean, I go all over looking for the best restaurant, especially soul food. It's sort of a dying breed. Yeah. So my mom taught me, and I wanted to continue and spread it with my family. So if you put a good product out there, this is my belief that people will enjoy it and they'll support you. Now, the first restaurant was great. The second restaurant was just as great, and that's the one most people go to, yes, right? Yes, the Mangrove. The, the Mangrove, yes. right? But this third one, the Upper Crust. Upper Crust, that's my dream. Now, that, that, that's, a, that's bigger than just a restaurant. That's saying it in his name, Upper Crust. Yes, ma'am. That is All like right. the Disney World of restaurants. <laughs> exactly. Hello? Hey. Hey. I've been waiting on you. You got some good news? Nah, I got you. I want you to sit down. Oh, hey. don't tell me to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the upper crust open has really been a challenge. I had all kinds of obstacles. I spent one year applying for a loan. Then I found out I need a new roof. The kitchen has been held up. So it's just been all kinds of things that's been happening. It's a paper. Okay. That we've been waiting on for 18 months. You <laughs> got your occupancy permit. Yes. All you got to do is yes. open up. All right. All right, I knew it, I knew it. Oh. So what were the challenges of making that big project work? I understand the restaurant piece, but this is so much bigger than that. What did you have to well, do? It's, I use the same principles. I mean, I've always wanted to own my own restaurant. Mind you, I lease these other places. I take them, fix them up, and, and it's not my property. So at any time when a landlord thinks you're making a lot of money, they up the rent. So I wanted to um, stop all of that. So I wanted to own my own restaurant. I found this building in an area that I wasn't allowed as a black young lady. Mm. So things were segregated, you know, back there. So I couldn't go in that area. But now I got my own restaurant there. You couldn't yes. even legally go to a place couldn't before. Go. And now you not only can go there, but you own a business there. I own a business there. Now, one of the things you've gotten awards for is your support of ex-offenders, former prisoners are working for you. Yes. Why would you do that? Well, my son was in the system, so I knew when he came home, he wasn't going to have the opportunities 
that were available. And being a black young man, he was going to have a hard time. So I decided that I would open this business, I would help my son and other offenders that were coming home, they can't find jobs. Yeah. So I mean, they are just, I mean, they made a mistake. So I'm willing to give them the opportunity. So I decided that I would hire ex-offenders to help me out. We're helping each other. One of the big things we see on the show is not just you as an entrepreneur and you as a cook, but we also see you as a mother. Yes. How important is family to you? Family is very important to me because those are the people that you can depend on or supposed to. A stranger you don't know, you know your family. You know what makes them tick and you know when they're happy. So you need that support. I mean, it's, I want to be able to give my family a job and I want them to take this business over after I'm gone. Is that a big part of what this is about, is being able to pass the torch? That, that's a big part of it. I mean, you want to pass the torch. Most people, my mom didn't have anything to leave me. So if I can do something for my family, my family has been my support. If I have them taste that chicken, if they say it tastes good, chicken goes on the <laughs> menu. <laughs> now it's time to talk to your son, Tim. We love each other, but... Y'all go at it on the we show. So we're going to talk to him and see what he has to say about you, oh, what okay. you do on that show. All right. That's All right. good. Thank you. Stay right there. Whenever she gets mad, she'll, call the, she'll pull the mom card on her. Uh, so even right or wrong, she always has a mom card right. she'll whip I'm out. I'm your mama, so you got to do it. She whip out the mom card, man.